let's think about how an FCC lattice is equivalent to an ABC ABC kind of closed packing 3d closed packing so what you see here is a ABC ABC kind of packing so the bottom layer is composed of red spheres a then on top of that you have a layer of blue spheres b and then on top of that you have layer of green spheres let's call it c of course i'm not showing all these spheres here because if i show them you will only see the green spheres which will be on the top and you can extend uh, these layers so for example i can extend the blue layer with these two blue atoms here blue spheres here okay and then I have this FCC unit cell and I want to compare these two and I have to show that these two are equivalent. How do I do that? So it will not be a very rigorous mathematical proof, but there is of course rigor here, which if you want to work that out, you can. I will just guide you and show you where are these ABC layers in, in this unit cell. Okay, so <clears throat> take a look here. You have an octahedral void between the layer A and B and uh, you have these blue spheres three blue spheres at the top and three red spheres at the bottom and you join them you get an octahedron and inside that octahedron you have an octahedral void right most uh, people like to make octahedron like this they make a square and then from the center they go some distance up and join these points in such a way that uh, this height this height is adjusted in such a way that uh, all these uh, edge lengths are same and then you go down and then you join make other edges and you see th this is mostly like a square bipyramidal square bipyramid and uh, you can call an octahedral a square bi bipyramid with all the edge lengths equal so this way What we see here, we, uh, we, see, we, have, we see an octahedral shape in a different way here, uh, this octahedral shape. How we are looking at it is like we have our eyes here and uh, the, this is the direction of sight. And you, then you see the top face here. So these are like the green, uh, the blue spheres, blue, blue, blue. And uh, then you see these three red spheres in the bottom layer. And you are looking like this here okay so we are looking in the, into the screen this is like uh, this is the screen here and you're looking from this side then you can understand this projection also okay so <clears throat> where is an octahedral void in a FCC unit cell so one of the octahedral void you can figure out is here you can you can join these points and make a square and from the center of the square you go some height up and then you get uh, these lengths same as the edge length of the square and then you can go some distance down and you can get this octahedron shape here and here you have an octahedral void if you look from this side in the uh, along the body diagonal then you can see these two layers Now, once you have had these layers, you can extend these layers, okay? So you can see that this, the plane of this triangle and you can extend the plane of this triangle. So, of course, you can see these two points also belong to the same layer. Join them. You can see similar kind of thing happening with the red layer, extend, extend it. Then it's difficult to see, but this point here is, this also belongs to the blue layer, you can extend this layer like this and similarly you can see that this point here belongs to the red layer and extend it like this so we see these two layers our first layer red layer and then the blue layer and then how about this point this point certainly does not belong to the red layer or the blue layer as you can see it's in feel that it's in a very different layer so this must be uh, this must belong to the third green layer and uh, it does it does because you can say maybe it's a little bit displaced or something like, like that like give us some mathematical idea how do you how do you say that this is at the right position so i see you see this sphere 
the green sphere here it makes uh, with these blue spheres uh, a tetrahedral void as you can see four points three points in the bottom there and the fourth point at the top there here and you can see that this is a tetrahedral shape something like this and here you have a tetrahedral void so this green you can see from here also it makes a tetrahedral void with the blue spheres in the bottom there so its position is right you can of course see it more rigorously if you want i will encourage you to go into the depths of it and uh, similarly this uh, the last one this does not belong to the green layer because you can see you can feel that the red layer is here the blue layer is on top of it and the, in this green layer you, the, you will get in the lattice you will get more such points but this point definitely is not in that green layer it's in uh, the bottom green green layer because this is a b c kind of packing so this is a layer this is b layer this is c layer so below this a layer there was a c layer again right so this is also this also belongs to a green layer but this is like c dash i would say then a b and then this is the c layer so you can see four layers in one unit cell of fcc and this you can also see that this this is making a tetrahedral void with these red uh, points and you can imagine that this if this green sphere this is your c layer then in the bottom the c dash layer will have a green sphere exactly here and that would make a tetrahedral void with the red spheres so even if you have a very good 3d uh, model you will have to think very uh, logically to see to see all these things thank you